Hello everyone, this is Jack. Well, in this video, I'm going to talk about things you should never bury into your garden. Now, previously, I made a video about seven things you can bury into your garden. They provide a food source for the earthworm and enrich your soil. So is it a good idea to bury things into your garden? So I'll be answering that question as well. Well, the very first thing you should not bury in your garden is citrus peels. Now, citrus peels and lemon peels are very readily available. We drink orange juice and we create a lot of peels. However, orange, lemon, and citrus peels are acidic in nature, and they mess with the pH level of your soil and also repel earthworms as well. Now, the best thing for your garden is earthworms. And the reason why burying these things in your garden that I mentioned in the previous video, they actually work is because of the earthworms. If you don't have earthworms, if you don't have enriched soil, these things will go rancid, will make foul smell, will attract rodents, and will attract other vermins as well. That is why I always say, whenever you bury kitchen scraps and other seven things that I mentioned in the previous video, when you bury those things into your garden, always cover them with the fencing material and weigh it down with bricks so that the rodents, vermins, and even your own dog cannot get to them. Now the key to healthy soil is earthworms. When you have earthworms in your soil, all of the kitchen scraps, bread, and other things I mentioned earlier, they serve as a food for these worms. When all of these organic matter decomposes, fungi and mold grows on them. And if left unchecked, yes, they can go rancid and they will attract rodents and they will create foul smell. So when you have earthworms in your soil, earthworms eat the fungi. That's why those kitchen scraps never go rancid if you have earthworms in your soil. And that's why that system works. All of these kitchen scraps, organic matter, all the things I mentioned earlier, they provide a source of food to all of these worms and in turn all of these earthworms create worm casting which is black gold and they add a lot of nutrient and also microbial activity into your soil. So citrus peels are also not good for earthworms. They actually repel the earthworms. So that's why you should never use citrus peel into your garden or bury them directly into your garden. Now the next thing you should never bury into your garden is onion peels and garlic peels because onion and garlic also repels earthworms and we don't want to repel the earthworms, we want to attract the earthworms. Now the next thing you should not bury into your garden is peanut shells and it's also true for walnut shells and almond shells. Now you can use peanut shells and other nut shells as a source of mulch on top of your garden to retain moisture and it will take a long time for them to degrade. And that's the reason why you should not be adding that into your garden or bury them into your soil because if you bury them into your soil, it it takes a long time for them to decompose and you'll keep finding them even year after year. Now after how long can you use your garden after you bury things into your garden? Well, if you bury things directly into your garden and you want to plant in the same spot where you bury things, you have to wait at least three months for the products to decompose and earthworms to do their magic before you can plant. However, if you plant about a foot away from existing plants, you can plant directly into your garden, such as banana peels and other things that I mentioned in my previous video about seven things buried into your garden. You can bury those things about a foot away from the plants while the plants are still growing. Now the next thing you should never bury into your garden is wood chips. Now wood chips, another thing you can use as a source of mulch on top of your garden, but never mix wood chips into your soil unless you want to lower the pH level of your soil. Even when you do so, you have to be very careful because wood chips lock up the nitrogen into the soil because wood chips is all carbon and carbon needs nitrogen to decompose properly. So if you do bury wood chips into your soil, let's say you want to plant blueberries, you want to prepare your soil, you have to bury them at least six months before you plant. And I even suggest burying them at least a year before you plant blueberries. However, for your regular vegetable garden, never bury wood chips into your soil because they will lock up the nitrogen of your soil and then your plants will struggle to grow. Now the next thing you should never bury into your garden is wood ash. Now wood ash raises the pH level of your soil and makes your soil more alkaline. So unless you want to raise the pH level of your soil, let's say you want to grow sweet potatoes or other vegetables that love alkaline soil, you can add wood ash into your soil. Otherwise, stay away from adding or burying wood ash into your soil. Next, you should never add cardboard that contains plastic or glue into your soil. Now, the regular cardboard is okay to use into your garden. Even the glue in cardboard is made from starches from vegetables and plants. So it's okay to use the regular cardboard unless the cardboard contains label, the label contains the plastic because they resist moisture, or the seams of the cardboards that actually contains a lot more glue which might not be made from starches. It could be chemical glue or it could have staples 
and also have more plastic in there. I also made a video on truth about using cardboard in your garden in which I cover which cardboard to use and which cardboard to not use in your garden. So check that out if you're interested. Now another thing you should never bury into your garden is dairy and meat and this includes milk and eggs as well. Dairy and meat attracts rodents, maggots and a lot of anaerobic bacteria. So if you bury into your garden, all the stuff will grow rancid anaerobic really quickly and it will attract lots of rodents as well. So it's not a good practice to bury milk, eggs, dairy or meat into your garden. However, you can use milk or spoiled milk as foliar spray to combat powdery mildew. That's spraying the plants. That's different than burying stuff into your garden. So refrain from using dairy and meat into your garden. Now everything eventually decomposes. Meat and dairy are organic products that will eventually decompose. However, it takes them much longer to decompose and in process they do create a foul smell and they do attract rodents, dogs, and even bears if you have bears in your area. So always refrain from using these. You have to properly compost dairy and meat in order to decompose them properly. Now the last thing you should never bury into your garden is cooked vegetables because cooked vegetables contain oil and salt which is really bad for earthworms. We want to encourage earthworms and make your soil more natural and living. And oil and salt are the enemy of living soil. So never use cooked vegetables into your garden or bury them into your garden either. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it clears a lot of your questions. If you have more questions, add them into the comments and I'll answer them and I'll see you in another video.